What's up guys and welcome to Myth Busting Mondays episode 53. This is the show where we bust the myths that you guys leave in the comment section below. So if you have any myths you would like to see featured in next week's episode, all you've got to do is leave those in the comment section right now or at the end of the video and we'll see which ones get featured next week. We are aiming for 3,115 likes on this video guys, but without further ado, let's get on to the first myth. So the first myth of today's show, guys, has been sent in by Sam Star, and he asks, Myth, can you get a turned electric zombie? P.S. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. And thank you so much, Sam. I appreciate that, man. So can we get a turned electric zombie? If you guys don't know, on specific rounds on Garod Krovi, we actually get these electric zombies that are being spawned in by the Valkyrie drones. Valkyries basically replace the dog rounds that were on most zombie maps back in the day. But now we can get these electrical zombies spawned in by those Valkyries. So let's see if we can actually go and turn these guys, and if we can, what actually happens. So we do have our turn upgrade on our Rex Caliber right now, and let's go and see if this actually will work. So let's see, boys. Three, two, one, boom. Yes, there you go. That is what we're talking about. So the turn upgrade does work. And have you seen how amazing it looks when this guy goes and kills other electric zombies? They literally just blow up. It looks so, so sick. So, yep, you can turn these zombies. But another thing I did notice is these turn zombies cannot kill the Valkyrie drones. They can only kill other turned electric zombies. But it still looks absolutely freaking awesome. You can do it. And thank you so much for sending that in, Sam Star. Let's get on to the next myth of today's show. So the next myth on today's show, guys, has been sent in by Carlos Serrano. And he asks, Myth, on Zetsubono Shima, can you use wall power or crate power to upgrade the guns you get out of the skull podium? So when you do the middle challenge on the podiums where the skulls are, you can actually access a free weapon. It can give you an SVG, a Brecky, or it can give you a Dingo. I've already tried this with wall power and it didn't work, but now they've introduced crate power with Gorod Krovi. Let's go and check if this thing actually works out. So we do have the crate power gobblegum dudes let's go over to our middle reward right now call up our weapon and we'll see what happens we get the dingo and let's check this thing out no this it doesn't work honestly i didn't expect it to because the descriptions of these gobblegums are so unique like they're just like this will only work on the mystery box or this will only work on war weapons pretty self-standard but it's always good to go and see just in case it would have worked thank you so much for sending that in carl Lotes. i appreciate that a lot man and let's get on to the next myth of today's show. So our next myth on today's show, guys, is being sent in by Cam Porter. And they ask, Myth, under Eisendracker's boss fight, does projectile vomiting make the skeletons throw up? P.S. Keep up the great work. Thumbs up emoji, little random square box, pizza emoji. That is what we're talking about, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot, man. And let's go and check this out. So I'm not going to do this on the Eisendracker boss fight, because that boss fight is very, very glitchy. So I'm going to do it in the normal map, and we're going to use our in plain sight gobblegum so we are able to shoot the skulls to activate the skeletons. That's right, dude. You can actually spawn skeletons into the map. I feel like this is a forgotten Easter egg. Maybe that needs to be in the forgotten Easter egg series. But anyway, now that we've got the skeletons spawned in, let's go and shoot them with our weapon. And let's go and see if we we can actually get these guys to throw up now that we've got that projectile vomiting gobblegum. And let's check it out, boys. Here we go. Yes, there you go. So it does work. The skeletons can throw up the exact same as zombies. I was almost positive that this was going to work as well, mainly because the skeletons are pretty much the exact same as zombies. They are the same. It's just like a texture, right? It's just the skin of whatever the zombie is. So it's a skeleton. But it looks so, so sick anyway, dude. So yes, the skeletons can throw up. Thank you for sending that in, Camp Porter. And let's get on to the next myth of today's show. So the next myth of today's show, guys, has been sent in by Angel Madrid. And they ask, Myth, if you have your shield out, will the upgraded monkey bomb kill you? Now, we know that the shield can protect you from certain things like the dragon's breath, and it can also protect you from the laser beam trap, which is unbelievably cool. And kind of the monkey bomb is exactly the same as the laser beam trap, right? So you would assume that this would work. And I'm going to tell you guys straight up right now, it does work. This can protect you from the monkey bomb. But... I was thinking this, and then I realized that Treyarch have actually patched the monkey bomb. There's no longer any splashback damage with the upgraded monkey bomb. That thing cannot hurt you at all anymore, which is absolutely awesome. So anytime you ever want to use the upgraded monkey bomb, it can no longer hurt you. Zero splash damage. You guys are literally safe whenever you use that thing. Because I've been down so many times by using that monkey bomb. But now we're all good, boys. They have patched it and we're all good. So thank you for sending that in, Angel Madrid. And thank you so much for sending that in and letting me realize that they've actually patched this thing. And we've updated the upgradable monkey bombs. But thank you so much. And let's get on to the next myth of today's show. 
So the next myth of today's show, guys, being sent in by William Carlyle. And he asks, myth, can you use swordplay with the wrench? Now, we know that swordplay basically allows your knife or melee attacks to be 2.5 times stronger than it would regularly be. We know that it works with the bows from the Isendrak and the Ragnaroks and pretty much everything we've ever used in zombies on Black Ops 3 melee attacking. But does it work with these upgradable and unlockable weapons on Gorod Krovi, like the wrench? So as you see, guys, I am currently on round 12 on Gorod Krovi and the wrench is now a two hit. So every time I want to kill a zombie, it takes two hits of the wrench to kill the zombie. But let's go on to round 13, grab that sword flay gobblegum, and let's see if it allows me to kill the zombies in one hit. So here we go, dudes. I'm walking up to the zombie right now. Let's check this thing out. And boom. Yes, there you go. So there is currently nothing in zombies that melee attacks that does not work with this sword flay gobblegum, which is absolutely awesome. Great job there, Treyarch. And thank you so much for sending that in, William. Let's get on to the next myth of today's show. So the next myth of today's show, guys, is being sent in by Kurt Morris. And he asks, myth, what happens if you use fear in the headlights gobblegum while zombies are on the flinger trap? So we've already tried this with killing time and it did not allow it to work because it stopped the actual trap itself so no zombies could be flung. But what happens if we use fear in headlights? Can we stop them on the flinger trap and then can it fling them about while they're not moving? Kind of. Let's see what happens, boys. Here we go. So we've got fear in headlights currently active. All the zombies are over that trap. We'll turn the trap on and... Boom, boom, boom. That is what we're talking about, guys. So, yes, they do flip over and they do not move while they're in the air, which is absolutely freaking awesome. Really funny to do. And this is probably one of the myths that I would totally advise you guys to go and try out with your friends and just have some fun. It's definitely one of the funnier myths to do, maybe alongside with that killing time with zero gravity on their eyes and drag, but definitely one of those really cool ones that you guys should definitely go and check out. But thank you so much for sending that in, Kurt Morris. And let's get on to the final myth of today's show guys so the final myth of today's show guys is being sent in by jake cs go and he asks myth can you freeze the shadow man in shadows of evil with killing time now we've already tried this on the shadow man from the actual boss fight at the end of this map but we wanted to try it out on the one where you've got to shoot and it will skip rounds in the spawn room can we keep him in there now obviously it's very very difficult to do this because you're going to have to run out of the spawn room and hit the gobble gun machine but then i realized hey we could literally shoot this guy and because he skips the rounds it'll only be 500 points per gobblegum every time we shoot him so technically we can have three goes on this gobblegum for only 500 points apiece and he gives us cash when we do this so this is 100 percent possible to actually get the killing time gobblegum but the difficult part will be to see if we can actually stop him in the process i'm going to be telling you guys right now that the answer is yes boys we did it look at that killing time drops He's there right there still, and then he disappears, but we've still got the purple glow. So we can stop his purple glow. The actual character model does disappear, which is kind of unlucky. But as you see right here, jump into beast mode, run up there, and we see that his purple thing is still there for a very split second. So the purple gas remains, but the character model itself disappears. But that is it for Mythbusting Mondays, episode 53, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like. We'll aim for 3,000. One on five likes on this video you know how we do if you are brand new to the channel guys make sure you click that subscribe button become the latest member of the pizza club make sure you leave your myths for next week's episode inside the comment section below right now and as always guys thank you so much for watching and peace out